What's going on guys, Mickle here, and first I want to say congratulations to everyone who's held XRP or bought XRP over the last year. It's officially been a year now since the SEC launched its attack against the cryptocurrency industry, specifically on Ripple and XRP holders. Right now, we are closer than ever to XRP getting the clarity it needs to fundamentally change the way our financial system works and be a dominant player in creating a financial system built directly into the internet. Those who have been willing to accumulate XRP during all the FUD over the past year are going to be positioned to make a killing when XRP finally gets the clarity it needs to be an absolute force in transforming the industry. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of this as well as getting into some technical analysis at the end. Make sure you guys stick around for that and let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, well I cannot believe it has already been a year since the SEC launched this attack against Ripple and XRP. One of the craziest things I believe is how much the public opinion has changed since this lawsuit was first launched to where it is now. When this lawsuit was first launched, I saw a lot of people very scared, they were mad at Ripple, they were uncertainty, uncertain about the future of XRP, but really just worried about what was going to come of this case. It's crazy now, a year later, it seems people are more confident than ever in XRP, and understand we are either watching one of two things by the SEC right now. Either all the world is a stage, and they are going through a convoluted way to shake out retail investors and give XRP the the clarity it desperately needs, or we are watching one of the largest scale pieces of corruption that have ever gone on in the US agency. Either way, one thing is for sure, we know XRP and Ripple are going to be on the right side of this. We are going to get the clarity we need for XRP to fundamentally change the way financial system works and be a key player in making money move all around the world like information moves today. I, it has never been more clear to me that XRP and Ripple are on the cutting edge of change, changing the financial system and everything we are watching right now in this court case does not change anything except get us closer to the place we all want to be, which is clarity in the market where XRP can do what it is intended to. I want to go into now this tweet by Brad Garlinghouse and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I wanted to read you guys the beginning. One year ago today, the SEC Gov filed a lawsuit against Ripple, Chris Larson, Chris Larson, and me, alleging the XRP, a public crypto that has been trading on the open market since 2013, should have been registered as a security. Of all the shitty things in 2020, this was certainly one to cap the year with a laughing emoji. We can at least see that Brad Garlinghouse also knows he is in a very good position with his lawsuit and we can see that he really is lighthearted about it because he knows he will be on the right side of this just like we know we will also be on the right side of investing in this. That said, then remains painfully true today, this is an attack on crypto in the US, not just Ripple. Some took the SEC's allegations at face value, thought this was a, this was a one off, but no longer. 2021 has been a watershed year for crypto, acceptance and awareness of the opportunity to bring billions of people into the global financial community has never been so clear. It's been incredible to see a lot less maximalism and more builders joining the industry. Proud to say it was Ripple's strongest year ever. XRP's based on demand payment accounted for 25% of the money that flew across Ripple debt and ODL transactions are up 25x from Q3 2020 before the lawsuit was filed. What we can take away from this are really three main things. One, Brad Garlinghouse is obviously very confident where Ripple stands. It's clear to us watching and clear to his team at Ripple that the XR, that the lawsuit by the SEC had no basis behind it. He is confident Ripple is going to seek, succeed and make it out of this and when they do, 
that will create an opportunity for XRP to become a dominant player in transforming the global financial system. Another thing that is very clear about this is the fact that despite all this going on right now, Ripple is a global company and XRP and Ripple have continued to thrive even without one of the largest economies in the entire world. Another very important thing to take away from this is when this lawsuit is over and it will end, one of the largest entire uh, one of the largest economies in the, in the entire world is going to get flipped on like that. When we have clarity, institutions are going to be piling in to be the first to take advantage of the cost benefits Ripple and XRP can offer. In an age where we're surrounded by things like the C19 and other crazy things with supply chain issues, companies need to get rid of inefficiencies any way they can. RippleNet and using XRP on on-demand liquidity is a no-brainer, and I believe when we have clarity, we are going to get traction faster than a lot of people can envision. The next thing I want to show you is this tweet by uh, Jeremy Hogan responding to this, and he said, "A lawsuit against your company sucks, but is generally expected to, uh, but is generally expected when your company gets to a certain size. The lawsuit against Brad Garlinghouse personally was a big overreach. It's one thing in this litigation that made me pause and ask." What is this lawsuit really about? And guys, I really feel the same way. It's very obvious the SEC launched this lawsuit for a reason other than the fact that Ripple did something wrong. Based on the rules that were out there, Ripple didn't do anything wrong. This lawsuit is about something else, whether it was a show to give XRP clarity because Congress wasn't doing it, or it was a corrupt act to try to give Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin an upper hand. That we might never know, but one thing is clear. XRP and a lot of other digital assets need clarity in order to fulfill their full-fledged intended use case and right now we are getting that clarity we are one year closer than we were last year and I believe we are going to get this clarity a lot sooner than some people think if we keep going right here I just want to show you as an example just to show you how much of a farce this entire lawsuit is we know this entire lawsuit is really centered around one main event and that's whether Bill Hinman's speech that he gave on Ethereum was his own personal opinion or the opinion of the administration. The SEC is desperately trying to say it was his own personal opinion because they know they cannot come close to putting together an argument on why if it was an SEC guided speech, why Ethereum shouldn't be a security and XRP should be. It really doesn't make any sense and the, and the SEC knows this is one of the biggest pitfalls in their entire argument despite the fact that they can't even articulate why XRP is a security in the first place, but nevertheless, it's such a joke because they we see that they are arguing in this Ripple case that they never said anything about Ethereum, but if you literally go to their own website, they say framework for investing in investment contract analysis of digital assets, and go to the footnotes, we can see they directly refer to William Hinman's speech in which he called Ethereum not a security. It's so funny that this is the basis of what the SEC is trying to bring this lawsuit over and they can, and they literally have evidence on their own website to the contrary proving their point wrong. I think it just shows that this lawsuit like Jeremy Hogan was really never about Ripple doing something wrong. It was about something bigger and while we might never know the exact reason for it, we do know that the whole thing is a farce. Ripple didn't do anything wrong there's no accounts of fraud and really we are just one step closer to be to getting where XRP where it needs to be to become a dominant force in the financial system the next thing I want to show you guys is really just what XRP is replacing and why there are so many interesting parties stopping this or really maybe advancing to how fast Ripple can get here. And we see right here, Ripple is essentially recreating the settlement infrastructure that will essentially uh, encompass how the entire world transacts in value. This is a pretty massive step and one thing that will blow your mind if you're ever worried about what's going on at Ripple 
you, you're hearing FUD that might shake you out, just go to their board of directors and look who's on it. It's literally people who are going to be taking place in replacing the settlement infrastructure and changing the way payments work all over the world. We know when XRP gets the clarity it needs and Ripple can do business with American businesses using XRP, this is going to be closer than ever to a reality. And after one year of this lawsuit, we are a year closer to XRP getting the clarity it needs for Ripple to use it as a settlement infrastructure for the entire world. I really do believe one day we're going to get there. And I think we're really close to get seeing that point. And it's all going to come down to when XRP and Ripple get the green light from the U.S. government. We know, we know that they will come because they have always been on the right side of all of these events. They have always been the company trying to do the right thing. And it's really been other companies, other industries, other agencies who have been trying to slow them down. The last thing I want to get into is just a recap of the XRP chart. One thing I think is super funny um, is a lot of people say XRP can't pump unless we get clarity in this lawsuit. Well, I want to tell you guys right now, this lawsuit was launched back here at about six or 57 cents and we dropped down to around 17. Since then, XRP is up massively over 500% since the bottoms. So I really don't understand the point that XRP can't pump before this lawsuit's over. I do think XRP is going to do things that are going to melt people's minds once we get clarity and once XRP is declared not a security. But even without that, I mean, we literally pumped like a thousand percent in a couple months so I don't understand the argument that we are not gonna pump unless we get the clarity I think clarity will make us pump hard but it's just important to see where we came from I remember the day when uh, December 28th when XRP dipped down to the 17 cents and I was buying it like there is no tomorrow I knew that it was one of the best chances I was ever going to be get going to get to get XRP at these prices and even the other week when we're still getting these dips I am still accumulating accumulating XRP the most that I can because those who understand the fundamentals that we talked about earlier know that XRP is undervalued anywhere under this previous all-time high and in the future we are going to reach prices that most people cannot comprehend right now the first place I'm looking for is a $10 region but I really just think that's our first stop thank you guys so much for coming make sure you like and subscribe it helps me out so much for those of you who um, have sat through this entire lawsuit congratulations we are going to have better days ahead of us thank you so much for coming and for now Mickle out